today's episode, we're going to show you how to seal a gas tank. So this is the uh, replacement tank, um, just a Chinese knockoff. Looks pretty darn close to the original. Obviously, it's in much better shape than this guy. It looks like it's been tried to... I don't know if they tried to seal it with Bondo or JB Weld, if it was leaking, um, or if it was just dented. Um, I actually have another Z50, same style of tank. It's got, it's been welded right here. Uh, and when I looked inside of this tank, you can see it. Uh, yeah, there you go. It doesn't look, actually, it doesn't look very good. So I'm going to do some preventative work on this gas tank. I'm going to use some sealer. Uh, and I've had really good luck with this stuff. This is called Red Coat Fuel Tank Liner. Semi-hardening. It stays flexible. Uh, it doesn't crack. Um, it's, uh, I've used this many times on many different things. Seems to work really well. Uh, coated the inside of this tank with it. You can't... Uh, you can kind of see this tank was in really rough shape, but if you feel it, it, it stays kind of rubbery feeling. And uh, it will seal up teeny tiny holes, but uh, if you've got bigger holes, you're going to have to patch them. So the old Hondas, it's very, very common on this side, because this is the kickstand side, for condensation to build up in the tank. So here's how this works. You park your motorcycle outside. It's hot, um, gets, stays out all night, cools off. Condensation actually forms if there's any you know, air inside the tank. There's moisture in that air, and as it cools, that condensation forms on the top of the tank inside. And if enough moisture gets in there, it drips bloop, into the gas. Now it can't evaporate because gas floats on top of water. So the water gets trapped usually right in this little corner right here. And you'll see very common with old, especially Hondas, but all bikes are prone to this with the metal tank. This corner right here will start developing leaks or maybe even completely along the edge. Um, that's the most common place for it to happen, but definitely not the only place. Like I say, the other tank, apparently this style might have a, a weakness right here. This is two tanks with that. Um, so if you do have bigger holes, you're going to have to seal those up with something else. Uh, JB Weld, uh, Quick Steel, other hardening metal putties work well. Um, if you're going to do anything with fire, like brazing or trying to weld, you just... You need to be super duper careful. I've got friends that can tell you stories about waking up across the yard after trying to weld a metal gas tank full of gas because they heard it on the internet. If you filled it completely full, it wouldn't blow up. Well, he got lucky, he was okay, but don't believe everything you hear on the internet. So let's show you how to use this stuff. Um, a couple of things you're going to need. You're going to need a funnel. Uh, I would strongly recommend some, some gloves. Uh, I'm going to use carb cleaner. I don't have my acetone here. Uh, carb cleaner has acetone in it, and that's what you're going to use to clean this up. Some paper towels, and uh, you're going to want some, some tape of some kind. This uh, blue painter's tape works decent. This stuff is not very sticky, though, so it can leak. We're just going to, after we put the stuff in the tank, we're going to need to seal it. We don't want anything leaking out while it's in there. So let's show you the process. So here we go. We're going to seal this tank with red coat. Again, um, love this stuff. Used it many times. I will try and drop a link if I, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this yet on YouTube. Um, if not, I'll put the link in the description of where you can buy this. Um, not super cheap, but not overly expensive either. Uh, this is my second can. I think I did probably six or seven gas tanks with this much red coat. So it, it does go a fair ways. Um, we're going to crack this open 
after I get the, the tank sealed, I'm going to make sure there's nowhere for it to leak out. That actually looks like it might be pretty... Eh. Yeah, I think that'll probably work. Normally I would wrap that with the uh, electrical tape. Um, find a little bit of stronger tape for the cap here. Uh, this is, I'll probably just use this because I can hold that on while I'm rolling it around. And then we dump the entire can into the tank. We roll it all around for about five minutes, make sure we, we you know, I, I kind of like to decide on a, a pattern of how I'm gonna roll it. So I tip it so everything's on that side and I kind of rock it um, so I get that whole side and then do the whole top, making sure I'm getting it all the way down to the end and going slow enough that it has a chance to, to get there. The hardest part on these tanks is this hump to get, to get it coated. Just, it just doesn't want to sit there. So uh, the trick I like to do is get as much of it into one side as I can, and then just kind of get it back and forth and roll it over to the point where I think it starts to flow over the hump down into the other side. Like I say, we're gonna try several different ways to do this, but uh, let's, let's get going. Let's see how this goes. Aside from my major error there of not paying attention to the funnel, I think we're good. Um, so you can see I just used the uh, carb cleaner, acetone, anything with an acetone base will wipe it right off, but in this case it also wiped off the clear coat, which is 100% fine, because this is getting repainted anyways. We're going to make this green. Um, brings up a very good point though, this is something you want to do before you're working on the outside of the tank. You do not want to have to repaint your entire tank because you made a stupid mistake like I did and weren't holding on to the funnel. So now that I think I've got everything coated in there, we're going to drain as much as we can back into our can here and we're going to keep rocking it a little bit um, just as it kind of starts to solidify and then we just let it cure for a, I like to give it I can't remember what it says on the can but I give it at least a day or two 24 or 48 hours so let's see how big a mess we can make here And you will find this stuff is very messy. I've got my glove sitting right here for me to use, and guess what I don't put on? I get a little excited to get going on projects, can you tell? So we're gonna let that drain for a bit. And then we'll change positions on this. And this is always kind of a dumb way to do things, but I guess I like to live dangerously. Like she's draining in there pretty good. So we'll let that drain for a while and come back. So we've let it drain for a bit. We rocked, I've tipped it to the end, tipped it over just several times just to get as much as I could back out into the jug. And I think we're, we're pretty good. Uh, I'm going to set that down. We're going to clean up the can here 
a little acetone maybe and wipe this out. We'll get the lid put back on it and we'll see if we can show you the inside of the tank. All right, so if you look in there, you can see we've got that red layer on it. It's got some air bubbles, looks like. Maybe some, maybe there was some crud in there. It didn't quite get cleaned out, but it feels pretty. It's still tacky. Um, I'm gonna use the carb cleaner and paper towel. I'm gonna clean off this surface, and we're gonna clean this out um, with the same so that it's not all plugged up. And then we just let it cure. Uh, we're gonna let it dry for, for several days. Um, just was gonna look and see. Drying may take up to 12 hours. You can speed it up with the use of a blower to circulate air, but again, remember it's pretty flammable. Um, go through all this before you do it. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It does have some good tips and tricks there. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will help this tank last way longer than the last one. Um, prevent rust from building up inside from condensation. And uh, I'm not so sure. I'm kind of curious. Go get some gasoline and dump it on the side of the tank here and just see how that clear coat handles it. It peeled really easy with the, the carb cleaner. But like I said, not a big deal. We're going to actually be sanding this down and getting it ready for paint here pretty soon. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, even with my epic fail there, made a huge mess on the tank, but we were able to get it cleaned up. Uh, like I say, this red coat stuff works great. If you have any tanks that are rusty, um, have small leaks in them, this works really well for, for cleaning them up. Um, you don't get any more rust in your carburetor. Um, good, good stuff to have on hand and know how to use. If this was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you've ever used anything like this or you've got a different product you like to use, let me know. Uh, I'm always open to trying other stuff. This is just what I've used and had good success with it. Thanks for watching.